All right, guys, welcome back to part two of my Thanksgiving meal. Y'all like my shirt today? You have to say Dr. Pepper. Can't drink it anymore, so why not wear the logo across my chest? <laughs> All right, so um, I actually got started about an hour ago. I did a lot of stuff off camera. Um, so now we're going to come on camera and show you what's going on next. All right. So first off, let me show you that turkey. This is how the turkey turned out last night. It was done um, probably within two hours of me um, actually turning it on high. Um, as you can see, the thermometer popped out and it smells so good right now. Next up, I got two pots of water just, that just started to warm up. As you can see, they're starting to steam. I'm gonna hit them both with some white salt. with some regular table salt. Anybody that knows, knows that table saw helps to speed up the boiling process. So just a couple tablespoons, uh, teaspoons in each one. And then I am, what I'm doing is I'm making two different macaroni dishes. One is going to be the baked macaroni. And this year I'm doing something different. It's actually going to be a four cheese bacon, baked macaroni. So that should be awesome. I've already cooked the pack of bacon. I just need to crumble it up. In addition to that, I have cooked the, what I'm doing is opening the noodles. Um, I've cooked the cornbread for the dressing. And we got the greens. They're just getting started on the back eye. And I got macaroni all over the stove now. So it's about two cups of raw noodles going in, in each pot. And we're gonna cook those until just until they're, they're soft, not until they're completely done. We want them to be al dente because they're gonna to continue to cook in the oven. This uh, second macaroni dish is gonna be a tuna casserole, and that is one of my favorite um, dishes of the holiday. So I'm really excited about that. So we're gonna let those cook for about 10 minutes, and I'll be back. All right, so the noodles are done. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble the tuna casserole. So there's the plain noodles. So we're going to hit it with some seasoning salt. Then we got some black pepper. If it looks like I'm a little heavy handed on the black pepper, I am because I like more pepper than most people. Then we got some garlic powder. And we got some onion powder. Now the onion powder I'm gonna be a little lighter on because we're also gonna put a whole onion in here. And this is a small onion, not a big one. So there's the onion. And then we're gonna hit it with two cans of tuna. tuna. Now I always use the tuna in water, but some people like the tuna in oil all the personal choice for me I'm trying to cut some of the fat out of my diet so the tuna and water works better <clears throat> some people drain the water off especially if they're using the the water from the macaroni me I drain as you can see I drained all the water off the macaroni and then we're gonna hit it with some cheddar cheese you can be as heavy or as light as you like on the cheese you're gonna mix this all up and then once it's all mixed up well what we're gonna do is um, top it with more cheddar cheese so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to make the macaroni all right, so let's make the cheese sauce for the macaroni. So in this pot, I already have a stick of butter melting. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup of milk. And as this heat up, I'm gonna start adding the cheese. While we're waiting for that to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and um, season the noodles. Add a little bit of table salt. Not a whole lot because the cheese has a lot of salt in it as well. And then we're going to add some black pepper. And we're going to keep it simple like that. 
Okay, so the butter is all melted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the cheese. So I'm gonna start with the Kobe Jack cheese, which is a mix of Kobe and Monterey Jack. Add about half the bag. Melt that in. And then I'm also gonna add in um, a pack of um, both of these cheeses are made by Sargento. Um, the other cheese is a four cheese Mexican cheese uh, blend, and it includes Monterey Jack, Asadero, Cheddar, and uh, Queso Quesadilla cheese. So we're going to add all of that in. i add the rest of the Kobe Jack first. All right, look at that. It's coming together real nice. All right, so we'll go ahead and add the Mexican cheese now. And these are bigger shreds. So I just went ahead and add the whole pack of that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish melting this and then I'll come back when I'm ready to pour it over the noodles. All right, I went ahead and crumbled the bacon over the noodles. Now I'm gonna pour the cheese sauce. Look at how thick that is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then I'm gonna top it with the same cheeses, the um, Mexican cheese and the Kobe Jack before I put it in the oven. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the, get these in the oven. I already got the macaroni and cheese slid into the oven. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide the tuna casserole in the oven. All right, while we go ahead and wait for the macaroni and the tuna casserole to, to bake, it's only took about 10, 15 minutes, long enough to finish cooking the, the noodles through and melt the cheese. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the dressing. So, like I said before, I'd already broke up my cornbread or bake my cornbread. I broke up about just about two thirds of it. Um, I think if I break it all up, it would be too much. I'll take the rest and put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it for another time or eat it with my greens. So to this cornbread, I'm gonna add some sage. I'm gonna add some onion powder, garlic powder, Seasoning salt. And again, on the salt, you don't want to be too heavy because um, what I'm going to add after the seasonings is going to be um, have more salt in it. Uh, so a little black pepper. Again, I like black pepper, so I'm a bit heavy on mine. And then I'm adding cream of chicken. Normally it just slides out the can. Might need a little help. So that's gonna need some a little help. Um, so I got cream of chicken, cream of celery, and cream of mushroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down so I can get those out the can. All right, so I got the soups in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my stock with all the vegetables in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this mixed up. All right, so here's the last step. Um, off camera, I deboned the um, turkey wings and the turkey back, and then I also had some um, a few chicken thighs that need to be cooked. So I deep, uh, cooked those in the same stock and deboned them as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it into the dressing. Okay, so I got that all mixed up. So now we're just gonna wait for the macaroni and the tuna casserole to finish, and then we can slide this into the. Oven. All right, so we got that. We got that creamy, good 
sweet potato, um, not sweet potato, that's a regular Yukon gold potato uh, salad. Real simple, just um, some craft sandwich bread with some um, baked potatoes and uh, I've got four eggs and four boiled eggs in there. And then if you want, um, my mom always served hers with a hint of yellow, so if you want, just throw a little bit of mustard in there, get that hint of yellow in there. And you got some nice sweet potato salad, or potato salad. I don't know why I keep saying sweet potato salad. These are potatoes. All right, and last but certainly not least, we got that good Southwest corn. Just nothing but fresh corn or frozen corn. Um, I use fresh, because um, I don't know why you chose fresh over fresh, over frozen this time, but I got fresh corn and a, a third of a, uh, of a um, peplano pepper and a half of a red bell pepper fried it up in some butter and that is so good it smells so good. all right so that's going to be it for part two as you can see my eyes are getting a little low so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night because i gotta work tomorrow um so yeah that's gonna be it for tonight and tomorrow I'll be, before i go to work i'll come back and show you the rest of the desserts uh, before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you love this video, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. And also leave a comment um, of other videos you would like to see. Again, I'm out.